Hi, it's Elder, and today I want to share with you my top 5 new features and improvements in Blocks 3.2. The most significant new feature is in addition of models, which let you easily create any type of pop-up window, and the model with the content inside won't be visible unless the visitor clicks on the trigger, and the trigger can be button, icon, image, or any type of link. This opens so much more capabilities and opportunities to create beautiful pop-up forms for contact form or newsletter sign-up bugs, as well as things like video light bugs and many others. Next, we have some nice improvements to Layer Navigator, which is one of my favorite features of Blogs Free. Now we can easily expand and collapse the menu items as well as switch to solo mode, which lets us easily stay focused on the element we are working on at the moment. I have been enjoying using the freehand control for element sizing, padding and margins, and now we have the same level of control for the text. With a simple drag of the circle, we can easily adjust the size for the text brick and it will apply these settings for each particular breakpoint. Blocks 3.2 also has some nice improvements to project settings. We can now set the default export settings, which will be automatically applied every time we use the quick export feature in Blocks. And of course, now we can set the custom style for the active navigation link. It was possible before, but it was requiring some manual work. But now Blocks will automatically apply the style you choose to the link which matches the current page URL. And finally, there are lots of small improvements to user interface and user experience across the application. We have updated look for the bricks bar and brick sidebar, which now have the categories, making it easier to find the brick we want, and we now have more organized look for subclass library. We can change the name of the colors we use in our project, and we can hide or show any of the sidebars, which will be highly appreciated by users who use blocks on their laptops. In addition to all these new features, there are also the tons of bug fixes and some new improvements for Blocks developer API. I will be covering many of new features in detail on this channel, so if you are interested, please give this video the thumbs up, subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you would like me to cover in the next video.